And it's a very good morning to the gelding in a rain-soaked Victoria. Um, floods everywhere, but uh, hopefully no flooding at Sandown today, gelding. Well, Professor, uh, as we talked about before, uh, what, what a place to be, Sandown on a cold winter's day with no crowd and the wind and with rain predicted again. And we've had heaps of rain, Professor, and uh, of course that's reflected in a, um, a heavy nine at Sandown today. Yes, and I think you said those famous words, not the place to be. Oh, Professor, it, uh, it's not an inviting place, Sandown, is it? Uh, listen, before we get into our tips, Gelding, uh, news during the week that uh, Lee Friedman's back from Singapore after three and a half years there training, um, now operating out of the Gold Coast, which uh, during winter, that's a terrific place to be working. Um, and uh, got a runner in a listed race to start. Um, not a bad comeback, Professor. Um, good to see the <coughs> five times Melbourne Cup winning um, trainer. Uh, second to uh, Cummings. And, um, you know, that's, a fair, that's an effort that kind of is kind of missed by everyone. Um, good to see him back training. Uh, yeah, not a bad way to start your career back in Australia, is it? Let's have a runner in a listed race. Yeah. Let's not go around in a benchmark uh, 58 or a maiden or anything <laughs> like that. Let's well, just go to the cream. It's, it's the sort of statement you'd expect from a good trainer, isn't it? He's telling, uh, you would think, he's you'd telling think so, he's, Professor. He's telling everybody he's back. Uh, very good trainer, Professor. You know, I've got a, a bias towards... Uh, uh, Friedman, Moody, Hayes, um, they're the top trainers for a reason, Professor. Yeah. They are. Well, we wish him the best. Yes. And, uh, I hope he starts off with a winner. And his runner in trepidatious at Ipswich will be uh, keeping note of that and see how it goes. And yeah, we'll talk about that on tomorrow's show, hopefully, Professor. Well, yes, that might be something that uh, I'm sure racing will form part of tomorrow's show. Uh, the rails in the true position, Gelding, on a very difficult day to tip winners, especially with so many scratchings. Um, what are your two uh, <coughs> tips for Sandown? Well, Professor, as I said to you uh, a bit earlier, we're, walk we're working on a, uh, a heavy Sandown track at Hillside um, in some very, very open races. So I've looked a little bit for each way bets, Professor, and having a look at them, Looking for adits and reasons to back them, um, I've gone with two Jamie Carr's riding, so I don't think we'll lose anything with the jockey. And I was looking for good trainers and and well performed horses. So my first tip is race three, number seven, Sweet Sixteen, trained by Peter and Paul Snowden up in Sydney, who bring them down here, have a fantastic strike rate when they come down. Written by Jamie Carr. <coughs> Excuse me, Professor. Uh, place last start. Um, Carr's had one ride on it now. You know, beaten by about a length and a half, two lengths. So hopefully she can improve that, uh, Professor, and round about the $6 odds. So um, I thought race three, horse seven, sweet 16 may be a good start. I've then followed up. Professor in race four, horse number eight, La Riches, trained by Will Clark in, in South Australia and ridden by Jamie Carr. A last start winner over in Adelaide. Uh, Will Clark and very successful when he comes across and teams up with Carr. So I thought that could be a bet. And one thing to notice, Professor, it was also entered in Adelaide. He had double entered it in Adelaide and Victoria. And he's chose to come across. So that's a nice positive sign that I like. And again, round about the $6. So I think both Sweet 16 and La Richest Professor could be good each way bets today at Sandown. Sounds excellent uh, tipping there, Gilding, on a day where it's going to be very difficult to uh, tip winners. Jamie Carr. Um, always amongst the winners. And if not amongst the winners, we discussed last week the tremendous percentage she's got 
riding place placed horses. Uh, you know, two. I think we came to the conclusion that two thirds of our rides end up finishing one, two, or three. Yep, which a fantastic return. And when they're when they're the odds around about six dollars, Professor. Um, I think you can go. You can back with a little bit of faith. Exactly right, Gelding. And your tip, Professor? Yes, Gelding. Um, I've taken a leaf out of your book. You went early. I'm going even earlier. Earlier? What, yes. You're starting in the AM? Yes, yeah, starting in the AM. Uh, going with race one, Clanbrook Racing Handicap, a two-year-old race over a 1,000 metres. Horse one, Mimosas. Uh, one start for uh, a win, so 100%. Uh, very good for the filter at 100%, Gelding. You can't do better than that, Professor. No, with, with Jamie Carr aboard. Um, riding for uh, the chief shareholder in that book, <laughs> her mother, <laughs> Mrs K Carr. Well, Professor, self-interest. Haven't we talked about that many times? <laughs> imagine, imagine being the jockey if you rode a bad race. And you come back and the trainer's your fiancé in uh, Douglas. And the main shareholder of the horse is your mother. No one would talk to you for weeks, would they? <laughs> now, I'm thinking that, uh, you know, self-interest might get across the line there. Uh, the threat ran veer. Uh, the only reason I steered off that gelding is, apart from self-interest, is the form's unknown in the wet. And... Um, Mimosa's won at Flemington on a soft track, so it's got good wet weather form. Oh, Professor, um, yes, I like your tip here. <coughs> Again, an excellent each way bet. Um, a two-year-old with winning form backing up again. As you said, top rider on board. Um, bit of news on this horse. They have turned down offers to get for the horse to go to Hong Kong. So, obviously... You know, there's interest from there. So a good run in this race could see a higher offer kind of come. So, um, yeah, and Douglas does sell the horses. Some of his better horses have gone to Hong Kong. So, look, um, they may be trying to win this one to get a better price, Professor. So let's get on board and let's try and be part of it. Yeah. And a good each way bet. Interesting about Douglas. Um, he trains out of Mornington, of course. His, his, over his last 50, his win rate's 21%, which is very good for a trainer. Uh, very good for a trainer. And um, when Jamie Carr's on board them, Professor, you know, there's, um, there's always a good chance. Now, Gelding, it's currently showing $4.80 fixed at the moment. Oh, beautiful. I jumped on board this last night at $6.50, so it'll even be sweeter if uh, it gets up. Well, I think you've got overs there, Professor, but uh, it's good to see. Good to see. All right, uh, and my second tip is in race two, the tile in Porter Handicap, a benchmark 78 over 2,400 metres. I like in that race, gelding horse five, sign, seal, deliver. Uh, only got a 15% win rate over uh, 20 starts, but has been in the money in excess of 50% of the times. What I like about it is... It's got good recent form in the one over 2,350 at Warrnambool, importantly on a heavy track. And then its most recent form is second to heart of Croissants at Flemington. Now, we saw how good that horse was over the last few weeks. So with that form, um, I'm, I'm tipping that uh, Science Hill and Deliberal Salute. It's currently showing fixed $5. So, go. Oh. A good each way bet again, Professor. A horse that's won. Horse that it's in its last five starts has had two wins. I know you said the win rate <coughs> was a bit low, but the last five start, it's won two yep. and was just touched off at Flemington last start. So the last two starts are a win and a second, beating the lip. So you can say there's almost three wins in the last five starts. So if you look at it that way, Matt Kamani. Uh, Yendel on board. Yes, Professor, another good each way bet. Yeah, Gelding. So uh, after race four, <laughs> we'll have no further interest in the racing. 
Well, there's a couple we like later on, Professor, we've talked about, but uh, you know, not, we'll have interest. Not, there's not also, not, not there's also, yeah, it's <laughs> there's also Randwick, Professor, and there's um, a nice little group one up in um, Eagle Farm today, Professor. Well, Gelding, I'm glad you mentioned that because it's a huge day at Eagle Farm. Th three listed races, yep. one, group, one group three, three group twos and, a tr and two group ones. So how could you go wrong in going to Eagle Farm today? Um, Queensland's premier day, Professor. I have been up to Threadbroke once. The only time I went to uh, Brisbane, we drove from the Gold Coast up <laughs> up to the suburb, went to Eagle Farm and then got out of there and came back to the Gold Coast. So um, I have been to Brisbane for, or Eagle Farm for half a day, Professor, and um, this Stradbroke's just a classic, classic race, Professor. And we like a couple in it too. We do, we do. I think we've got to, <coughs> we've got to mention the local trainer, Phil Stokes at Pakenham's got uh, Mr Quickie, who's been kind to us on several occasions. Uh, currently fixed $10. <coughs> that, that'd be a terrific each way bet. James McDonald on board. So they're obviously... They're tech. rating it. Yeah, they're rating it that it's got a chance. McDonald over his last 50, he's got a staggering 34% win rate. Oh, look, Professor, probably, you know, we like Jamie Carr, but... Um, James McDonald, I'd probably say, would be the best jockey in Australia at the moment. Him and Bowman um, are up there. I like Karen McAvoy and, and of course, Jamie Carr. But um, And Willie Pike. And Willie Pike, yes. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, we do like a couple, Professor. But um, look, this horse will get back. But if it's fast run, expect it to be flashing home. Recent form. Uh, a win at Caulfield and a second at Caulfield. Um, they take it up, they space the races. Uh, as you know, we've had interest in, with Wiley Delzeal before in his horses and um, wish Wiley the best you know, for Group 1 success in this race, Professor. So, <coughs> very do like uh, Mr Quickie. But I think the favourite, League 1, could be the danger. Professor, oh, yeah. last start winner, will lead up to the Stradbroke, number 11. Um, you know, I think Mr. Quickie might be chasing it over the last two hundreds, and hopefully, it can get up past them, Professor. Yeah, um, Gelding, we might mention this on the program tomorrow, but given this is our racing show, yes, um, a horse that was tipped at Geelong by you last Sunday, and I agreed with uh, Sports Fan Radio's own Craig Robertson aboard. Double chance, yes. Julie saluted and uh, Robbo was in the winner's circle yet again. Um, fantastic jockey, um, Craig. Um, doesn't get the chances he deserves. Um, you know, with him on board, you're getting a, a very, very good senior jockey, Professor. Probably should get more, um, more rides. Um, I know I've suggested to my trainer that we use him and he rode second on my horse. I think he did nothing wrong, but our trainer seems to be going through this thing now. She just spins a wheel and picks a different jockey every race. Um, <laughs> but I'd be... Nothing like consistency, Gelding. Oh, uh, look, you've got to give these jockeys a chance to build up a rapport. And as, you know, Craig knows these things, and once he rides a horse, he knows it's little quirks. <laughs> there was nothing wrong with the ride he gave our horse. Um, you know, a horse didn't perform, you know, didn't jump as well, so he had to be one back from where he wanted to be. He had the right game plan. The horse couldn't do it. But, you know, and that's that's what you're after in a jockey. As long as they know what they're doing, they ride them, they give them every chance, and then it's up to the horse's ability to be able to get them across. And, uh, yeah, last week, Professor, we had a nice little fill-up. But, um, as you said, I got the 525. So... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, nice little ones. Well, it's good. To Maybe we better take Craig out for a, uh, a Chinese lunch Sunday, Professor, and he'll probably be able to have the lettuce to light. <laughs> That'll be... <laughs> It'll probably be, probably be a cheap shout. I don't think Craig would be eating too much. No. So, uh, but yeah. We, look, we, um, we can make up. Gelding, I'm sure you and I can make up and uh, eat his share as well. Uh, 
uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll say we've got him covered. Maybe two oysters and a lettuce delight for Craig. That would just be, <laughs> uh, that'd be sensational, Professor. But um, look, we do wish him all the best. A very, very good rider. And um, the reason we, we won on double chance was the ride of Craig. Yeah, well, look, it's great to see him getting more rides and it's great to see him being regularly uh, in the winner's circle again. Um, we wish him uh, a much longer career. Uh, the, um, professor's, the Professor's Parlay gelding. The <laughs> well, Professor, the very successful Professor's Parlay. Yes, which has, um, succumbed, which has succumbed two weeks in a row to last <laughs> the Gulligan's theory of uh, the last leg, last leg syndrome. Well, ever since the giraffe said it, <laughs> it's been knocked out. So whether he's put the curse on us, Professor, but we're getting the racing leg up, which, as we've said many times, is a hard leg. Yes. So, yeah. And which way are we going this week, Professor? Well, In your uh, very successful parlay. Yes. Uh, race one, horse one, self-interest. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, self-interest. Mimosas. Oh, uh, that's right. I've got it down as mimosas, not self-interest, yeah, Professor. No, mimosas into... Delegans South Sydney Rabbitohs to beat the Newcastle Knights. Uh, the Rabbitohs currently fourth on the table with a points difference of plus 45. Newcastle 14th, uh, their form's all over the shop. Uh, a worrying points difference of minus 121. So wow. at a dollar fifteen, I think that's good value to South Sydney Rabbitohs. And then into St George Illawarra, to beat my Canterbury Bulldogs. St George currently eighth. They need this to remain in the top eight. Canterbury on the bottom of the ladder with a points differential of minus 226. So nothing, nothing going right for the Bulldogs this season. Gelding in $1.20. I can't work out why St George Illawarra's $1.20. I think that's, that's, a, that's a great, great price. You think you got overs again? Yeah, I think, I, I think I've got overs for that one, Gelding. Anyway, the Professor's Parlay currently showing six to one. Oh, very uh, nice, Professor. That'll be a nice fill-up if we get it. Uh, it will be nice after a couple of um, hard luck stories. And um, as we said, I still haven't forgiven Melbourne City yet. I haven't built that bridge. How they could draw with Melbourne Victory is beyond me. But, uh, well, and, and Melbourne Victory won the wooden spoon. Yeah, uh, well, I'm still... I'll get over Melbourne. it eventually, though, Professor. Yeah, build a bridge. We'll have to build a bridge, Gelding. Yeah, we'll get over that. All right, well, before we go, uh, we must mention uh, Sports Fan Radio tomorrow with uh, all the usual suspects. And uh, tell me, will the giraffe be crowing about the Blues' huge oh. victory in uh, oh. State of Origin 1? Well, I reckon the giraffe took off after the... <laughs> <laughs> he had rocket fuel in him. He we took off the, uh, the land of... Um, Texas professor, he was um, in seventh heaven, so he did well on it. It was what good to him. His, what, is, what about his uh, tip of Trebojevic for the first try? Oh, well, I think there's a love affair going on there between the giraffe and uh, Turbo Tommy. Well, that's, um, that's he, a second he's second. tipped him in, in a couple of years and he's performed up to it, so mate, that was a Sensational, sensational effort. I'm sure we'll talk about it more tomorrow. Yeah. But you don't see 50 points scored in a state of origin. And then, and then last night, um, Schooner's family comes out to score 50 points. So we're getting a few blowouts in the rugby league. Well, I'm sure uh, Paul will also tell us that he tipped uh, the Sharks to knock off the Panthers as well. I have seen that text this morning already, Professor. Yeah. So um, he's doing very well, the boy. Uh, well, well, I've told him we won't mention his punting on any radio shows. So, <laughs> all right, Gelding. Uh, all right, until, Professor. Until you have a lovely day. Racing. It's good luck and good punting.